All right, what's going on guys? So today we're gonna go over a warm-up routine and plyometric routine that you can do before you go out for your long distance runs. And we're gonna do that in my hotel hallway. So the first thing we're going to do is a dynamic stretch. Now, this one you've probably seen me do if you watch any of my earlier videos, but we're just going to do a perfect stretch. Now, why I like this is because it hits all angles. It's multifaceted and you're getting the best bang for your buck. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up. We're going to go ahead and stand tall. We're going to pull the knee to the chest and you're going to lunge forward. As you lunge forward, both hands are going to come inside the knee. And then from there, I'm going to rotate over, look up at the ceiling. Hand comes down, flex the toes to the top of the shoe, and then come back up. Go again. Down, rotate, flex, back up. Same thing. Okay, so for that, with the perfect stretch, you're gonna do one set of 10 reps each leg. Then you'll move on to the next one. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the hip shift. And why I'm doing this is one, I wanna stretch out the adductors and I also wanna activate the glute med and also make sure that I'm shifting the weight back and forth to get some lateral propulsion. So here we go. I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna sit back into my hip, stretch the adductors, hamstring a little bit there, and then switch side to side. You're gonna do 10 reps each side, making sure you get a good stretch and then coming right back out of it, using your glutes to push out and your hamstrings to push out of the bottom of that squat or bent knee position. All right guys, so now we're gonna move on to the activation side of the warm up, and we're gonna work from the ground up. So we are gonna do our heel toe walks now. With the heel toe walk, you basically want to make sure that your heel is into the ground, your leg is locked out, and you're going to drive the toe to the top of the shoe. Now, as I go to roll forward into pronation, I'm going to go ahead and propel myself off the ball of the foot and drive up the heel off the ground. The other side, same thing, drive off the ground. Flex the quad, drive off the ground. Flex the quad, drive off the ground. Same thing, other side. Again, again, again. And now you can do 10 yards down. Obviously, I'm in a hallway, so you can't really measure, but you can do 10 each leg as well. On to the next. All right, so now we're gonna work our way up to the hips and the knees. And what you're gonna do here is you're basically going to flex at the knee, flex the foot, Drive down onto the heel and then do that heel toe again. Flex, drive. Flex, drive. Flex, drive. Kicking out and pulling, pushing the foot down, coming back up. Flex, heel touches the ground. Flex, heel touches the ground. Flex, heel touches the ground. Make sure you're rotating. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start working through our hips. And what you're gonna do is a small movement and we're basically going to step forward, push the ball of the foot down into the ground and then squish the ground. So we step and push down. We step and push down. Step, push down. Step, push down. Step, push down. Step, push down, push down. Push down using your glute to drive into hip extension. So it's a midfoot, forefoot, and you're driving down into the heel. So forefoot, midfoot, drive down to the heel. Okay, so now we're gonna go even more dynamic and lengthen out that amplitude and do something called angling, where basically the same concept as if we were gonna do a high knee but we're gonna be more reactive and it's gonna be more for speed as opposed to full range of motion. So I'm gonna bring my knees up slightly, but I'm not gonna bring them up all the way to my hip level. Here, it looks like this. We're here, so. All 
All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go a little bit more rhythmic and we're gonna do with something called A skips. Now with the A skips, you're gonna get a slight bounce. You're gonna drive into the ground and make sure that you're getting a bounce in between every knee raise. So here it goes. Bouncing, drop the knee up, bouncing in between. Okay, so now we're gonna go into a B skip. And with this one, I'm gonna go into full extension of the leg and I'm actually gonna claw the ground and pull myself forward. Same thing as an A skip, but again, we're extending the leg and pulling it forward, all right? Make sure that you go to the range that you have and the range of motion from the hamstring that you have. So don't try to elongate or kick out or lose your balance or anything like that. Go to where you can and then pull it forward, okay? Or pull yourself forward. Here we go. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to high knees. And again, everybody has probably done these before, but the main thing here is you wanna stay long. You don't wanna to lean too far forward, crunch forward, and you definitely don't wanna fall back. Another thing that you gotta be mindful of is not letting your knees go out to the side, right? We're gonna make sure we're maintaining that neutral alignment, making sure that you're internally rotated, not too much external rotation on these, okay? So here we go. You're up, drop. Okay guys, so now what we're gonna do is butt kicks. Now, what we're gonna do here is not try to lengthen or extend the hip too far to where you try to actually kick your heel all the way up past your butt. I see a lot of young athletes do this, and I see a lot of guys that haven't done this before try to get too much extension in the hip. And that's not what we want. We really wanna just basically drive the heel into the hamstring. So I'm gonna drive my knee up a little bit and then pull the heel up into the hamstring where we're kicking this way, not back that way. So it's here, here, all right, here we go. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is just a side shuffle and we're gonna go ahead and just swing our arms, get our arms nice and loose. Uh, especially when you're running, you wanna keep your, your shoulders loose and light. So with that, I'm gonna keep them down, I'm gonna keep them swinging, I'm not gonna be too tight here. So I just wanna get good looseness here, so I'm gonna open up my arms, get into flexion, extension, abduction, adduction, as I'm going through the side shuffle. The side shuffle, you're gonna keep a slight knee bend, and you're just gonna shuffle your way through. Here we go. All right guys, so now we're gonna go into the karaoke. And what that basically is gonna help us do is internal and external rotation. We just wanna get our hips moving. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up here and I'm just gonna go with my foot forward and my foot back and rotate the hips accordingly. Here we go. Here, forward. All right, so now what we're gonna do is the same thing, but we're gonna do a high knee step over. So with the high knee step over, I'm driving that knee up and pulling it through. Here we go. Okay, the last one before you head out for the road is you're gonna go ahead and do basic skips. Now these power skips, they can be high or they can be distance orientated. Since I have a low ceiling, I'm not gonna go super high, but I will do a quick ground contact skip which is gonna help with elasticity. It's gonna allow us to get that, that more bounce in our step when we go to run. And it's just gonna give us a better understanding of plyometric mobility that we have in the soft tissue. So here it goes. We're here, drop up. All right guys, so that's it. Stuck in a hallway, in a hotel room. You can still get after it. This is the dynamic warm up that I go through before all of my runs. You guys been following me now, and you know I'm getting ready for a triathlon, and I'm making my transition into endurance training. So if you have any questions, hit the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification if you haven't done so. Hit the like button if you want to see more videos like this. Also, if you want to learn more of my methodologies, of the protocols that I use for myself and my athletes, you can check out my mentorship program. The link is down below in the description, and I'll see you again next time. Peace.